Welcome to La Grand Mob Boat Show. I'm Marnie from the team at TMG and today I'm very excited to be meeting with Bruno Belmont who's going to talk all about the design of the new Lagoon 51. Well, I'm Bruno Belmont. I've been with the Lagoon ever since the beginning, like uh, over 35 years ago. And I've been in charge of uh, designing the new boats with uh, yacht designers, stylists and uh, interior designers. Uh, yacht design has been from day one done by VPLP Design, who's the most famous yacht design uh, team in the world. And uh, the interior designs uh, have been designed by uh, Nauta for the last uh, 15 years now. Okay, well, when designing the Lagoon 51, uh, one of the uh, um, big changes for Lagoon poly uh, politics of uh, riggings was to uh, move the masts forward of the uh, coach roof uh, in order to, first of all, uh, make the largest possible flying bridge where you have two big uh, sofa to lie down under the sun and a big C-shaped city where I'm standing right now next to the steering station with a very nice access. So having the mast away from this accommodation was helping a lot. It was also helping for in light air, have uh, more power with a uh, tracking Genoas, with an uh, overlapping Genoa. And, and all together, uh, it's more of a classic rig uh, that makes uh, probably more sense to our Lagoon customers in the long run. When designing that, that Lagoon 51, there was, a, there was a motto which was we must help people walk around uh, safely, freely and without interrupting each other. So having this uh, two ways access of the flying bridge was very important, but also the access to the sea with a huge platform, both on each end of the uh, each transom of the boat, connected to the side of the dock very easily makes the boat an easy boat to walk around and get to the dock, get back on the boat without, you know, feeling like on the edge of anything. Uh, yeah, well, we, on that boat we've, uh, we've decided to uh, test a new generation of uh, solar panels that are actually covering the whole coach roof and also the Bimini right above us. And, and that will provide up to 3000 watts of electricity when the boat is sailing or anchored, which will allow the boat to use all the DC supplies without running the genset. And that's for the comfort of living on board. Having a boat that can remain silent all the time is very important. 